Okay. Make this a series. Okay. okay. On? Let's try to be in the the light here. Yeah. Is it on? Are yeah. You, try to stand around there. <laughs> And <laughs> me and the gentleman. So like is it recording? Where do I press? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just make sure we're in focus. Eh? Yeah. Oh my god, this is my dream come true. I love wine very much. Okay. Uh, are we in focus? Can you see us? Can you see us? Yeah yeah. Yusuri, do you know how to operate a camera? Okay. So I love wines quite a lot and I'm interested in them. I've been collecting a little bit. Previously, in like 2013, I collected a couple of, but I ended up drinking them because when I got home, they were just yeah. not. Uh, so that's why I was quite interested in your exploitation and uh, what goes into that and what what's your standout wine? On? Well, that's the thing. So with, with export, we are mainly uh, an export market here at Middle Face. So about 80% of the 1.6 million bottles of wine that we do produce every year goes straight to Europe, okay. predominantly the UK, mm. Germany and Holland. Okay. And our most popular wine is definitely our free run Pinotage. Mm. The free run process is quite a unique way of making wine. It means that we don't actually press those grapes with a machine. Mm. We make the wine only from the juice that naturally comes out during fermentation. Okay. Now this results in a much smoother and softer wine that mm. lacks the tannins you often find in your Pinotage. And Middle okay. is actually the only farm in Stellenbosch to make a free run Pinotage. So that's why I see that a lot of your, no, it's mainly the Cabernets that run out quite a lot. So the Pinotage, I saw it on the deck already for service. Is that your most popular? Yeah, so the Pinotage, like I said, is our most popular. The Cabernet, probably close second. Mm. Um, the Cabernet, we make from younger berries, so they mm. are a bit smaller, more concentrated in flavor. Mm. So the yield isn't as high, but they produce a much richer wine, very fruity. Uh, quite delicious actually. So if I was just go to go straight to the point, what advice would you give someone who's a young collector, wants to collect wine that they want to consume in like 10 years time? My, yes. my best advice would be if you find a wine you like, buy two cases of that wine, okay. put one case away for collecting and one case there that you for can the then drink mm. because you will get tempted by it. So at uh. least you now have one that's being saved and one that you can actually get access to. I hear this quite a lot from people who drink or drink wines a lot and interested in collecting wines is after they collected it for like five years, it was meant to last 10 years, but it's spoiled. It comes down to how you uh, preserve your wine, how you are yeah. storing it yeah. with the aging process. So uh, a big thing is your climate control. Make sure yeah. that you are using a, a set um, temperature room yeah. so have some sort of cooling mechanism that can keep it at a set temperature so it's summer especially in South Africa we have very high summers yeah. um, you don't want that uh, change in temperature throughout the year to spoil your wine because that is the biggest reason wines spoil oh. is that as soon as your temperature starts to fluctuate within the bottle yeah. your wine starts to fall apart and in, in your opinion what's the best category of wine to collect is it a Cabernet is it a Pinotage and Merlots and yeah, no, I don't Shiraz. see a lot of Shiraz being collected. Well, Shiraz, um, it does have a great aging potential. Ours uh, ages really? um, for 10 years um, oh, easily. Nice. But I think if it depends on what you're trying to do with your age, your, your wine through aging it. If you are trying to improve the flavor and consume it mm. later on, then your Pinotage is a great one because oh. Pinotage naturally has very high tannins early on. Mm. And the longer you age it, those tannins, they will then soften, become fruitier, more easy drinking. So your Pinotage will improve the most, I think, over an aging period. Mm. Cabernet as well becomes very rich, very mm. fruity. Mm. And your Shiraz, for me personally, becomes very spicy. A fantastic wine for your red meats if you have aged for five, six, seven years. Um, if you're aging wine purely for collection, mm. just to have that yeah, wine on your shelf, um, to collect the different mm. um, award-winning wines from each vintage, mm. um, and maybe to resell sell them later on to another collector, mm. then it doesn't really matter, in my opinion, which wines you're collecting, provided you are collecting the very best. Um, you know, look for the vintages that that did well. Um, certain years, for instance, 2015 mm. was a fantastic year for wine. If you can find 2015 vintages, especially from Stellenbosch, buy them. They were, uh, they were. It was just a great year for everyone here in Stellenbosch. Oh yes. Oh, thank you, man. No, thank it's you. An absolute pleasure. Thank hey. you so much. This has helped a lot. Thanks, you, Did really well, man. Thank you. Thank you yeah, so thank much. Thank you. Yeah. It's a pleasure.